एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल गोडानामिक आईटी आर यू ए प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजर और समवन ऑन द प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट पाथ लुकिंग फॉर द लेटेस्ट एंड ग्रेटेस्ट प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट टूल देन यू आर वाचिंग द राइट वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डाउनलोड एंड इंस्टॉल माइक्रोसॉफ्ट प्रोजेक्ट ट्वेंटी फॉर फ्री फ्रॉम ऑफिशियल माइक्रोसॉफ्ट वेबसाइट एंड आफ्टर द इंस्टॉलेशन वी विल एक्टिवेट इट विथ सीरियल की प्रोवाइडेड बाई माइक्रोसॉफ्ट इंश्योरिंग इट्स अ लेजिट कॉपी इट्स अ प्रीवी वर्जन नॉट श्योर हाउ लॉन्ग इट्स गोइंग टू वर्क बट अंटिन देन यू कैन एंजॉय यूजिंग इट सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट एंड इंस्टॉल एंड कंफ्यू Your Microsoft Project 2024. Okay, so let's go to our browser, and inside the browser, we have to go with to this tool, deployment tool. So this is the link for it. I'll put this link in the video description. So this is the deployment official deployment tool. Let's download it. So before download it, let me tell you this uh, about this software. So this was released on 2024, and this is just a 3.6 MB file. And when you look into system requirement, it support Windows 10, Windows 8.1, Server 2016, Server 2019. Windows 11 and Server 2022 means if you have these will uh, Windows version you can install and run this office on these Windows application and the instruction is that this is a self executable file you have to run it okay no problem so let's go ahead and download it okay it's downloaded since it's a very small one but let's create one base here so what is the base here um we have to go to the C and then create a new folder let's create a new folder call uh, project 2024 you can see this project 2024 and then move that download to that so what we will do is we will extract that folder into this project 2024 so let's move it here and now you can see this is the tool here right click on it and run as a administrator click on the yes and it's asking about this accept some agreement and click on the continue it's asking about which where you want to extract it so as you, as you know that we have created a folder in c drive project 2024 select that folder and click on the okay i say that extract it successfully perfect so you can see here we have one set of file and along with that these are the xml files okay we'll talk about the xml file later but let's go and look into the second link so this is about the installation of the project 2024 so you can see this is the ltsc preview as i say that how to install this office ltsc preview this so so when we come back it says that this is the commercial preview and this will support the project and the visio so as we have already covered this office 2024 how to download and install it on our windows operating system so if you want to know how to install it you can go ahead and watch it on my channel in this video we are going to see this project 2024 and the next subsequent video we will go with the visio 2024 and when you look into the operating system this will support windows 11 windows 10 and uh, windows 10 2021 and windows 10 again ltsc 2019 windows 10 and windows server 20 22 this will support both the version 32 bit and 64 bit okay so come down so this is the executable command that we need to run in the console and when we come down this is the xml file example they have given here so we need that but let's come down and, and try to understand what are other components are there so we have a two type of key here the first one is kms activation key so this this is the key which you see this is for the kms activation okay so we need in the xml file and when you come down this is about the ma key activation so these are supported we need this for the online activation this mac for online activation and this kms for our xml we will put this key in the xml and when we come down this is all the literature so we can go ahead and read that i'll give this link also in the description okay so now let's copy this x XML and uh, go to the Notepad. Inside the Notepad, just paste this one. Now, just look look at carefully. So this is the configuration. Inside the configuration, this is telling about this. Uh, A version of this uh, perpetual licenses 2020 24 and we have a three products here you can see product id this is for the office 2024 this is for visio and third one is the project so as of now we are looking for project so what we'll do is we'll delete this uh, office and visio and then inside this project uh, 2024 we have to copy this kms license key you can see this is the product key product id key come down and uh, you can see this is for the kms so let's copy this project key for kms go back to the notepad and uh, add this key here and save this file save as and we have to save that into our folder which we have created so our folder is in the c drive and this file should be name should be configuration dot xml okay and save it so once you save this close this one and you have to go back to the same folder you can see this is the folder and try to open it so when you open that when you see this hypertext like this that that means your file is you have edited is correct one that is how you can prove it and you can test your file so sometime when something is missing you get a error here but our case it's showing good 
so let's close this one now what we'll do is we don't need other files here so we can select the other files xml files and write delete it so now it's deleted again we have to go back to our oh we have closed the browser sorry for that let me re reopen the browser okay so when we go back here this is what i was talking about so this we need this console uh, command to run in so copy this command and now we have to open the command prompt cmd right click and run as administrator click on the yes and we have to change the path here so i'm not sure if it is small one for you let me change this font from here font and can we make it 24 i hope this will be visible for you so we have to type cd and backslash so it will directly come to the c prompt and inside the c prompt we have to type cd and type project project 2024 enter you have to type cd and space project 2024 and we are into this file just to run the dir and now you can see we have a these files here right we have a configuration.xml now it's time to run that the, the console command which we have copied from the website so just paste it here copy and go to this one command prompt and click it and press the enter here and now you can see this says that configuration is started and it's trying to download this file you can see this uh, logo project uh, management logo and it's going to download this file from the microsoft site so we have to wait okay as you can see on the screen it says that all set and microsoft uh, office app is, in app is installed on your computer okay that's fine thank you bank microsoft close this one minimize everything and uh, let's go to this program and as you can see the project is added here let's open this project and here we go so you can see this project is installed and now you can go ahead and play around with this project setting but one thing which is still missing here when you go back to the profile accounts and i can see this activation is required this is very sad right <laughs> but don't worry we have an option to activate it i just said that microsoft is providing two type of key one is one is kms another one is mac so let's go to mac activation and copy the file for this uh, project 2024 preview so copy this key project copy it go to this microsoft project and here your option for change the product key click here and just paste it here click on the activate office and you can see suddenly this uh, activation wizard is is disappeared here so we have to close it and reopen it just close it and uh, reopen this project say now it's asking about the activation wizard so the first option is i want to activate it through uh, internet okay go ahead click on the next and it says that connecting i can see this thank you your copy of microsoft project professional 2024 previous preview is activated so congratulations you have a legit version of microsoft project installed on and ready for your productivity on your system so let's close it and go back to accounts again and now you can see this project is activated right so how easy it is to configure and uh, activate download configure and activate this office version right so i think we have covered our agenda for today's video so if you found this video helpful please subscribe for more videos like it feel free to share your thoughts or suggestion in the comment below and let me know what topic you would like to see in the future videos thank you very much for watching video see you in the next one